prompted someone to speculate. Thank you. All right, no, we're good. All right, call to order, August 16th, 2023 meeting. How's everybody's summer going? Good? Good. All right. Uh, first off, I want to welcome Jim and Chuck, members of BFW. Thanks for attending our meeting tonight. Look forward to continuing. Uh, by the way, these new, these new meetings are recorded and videoed. Oh. Uh, just so you know. So make sure that we're all looking pretty. Yeah, and I don't say any nasty words. <laughs> all right. Approval of the minutes. Uh, did everybody get a chance to review the minutes from last month? Yep. I'm looking for a motion. Approve. 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 Do we have a second? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, minutes are approved as written. All right, 2023 Fall Festival planning. Uh, is Christine coming? No, she's not. She's not. All right, so uh, this list, I'm guessing, is... Uh, These are the list we've been compared to. The one that I created was sort of that assigned roles and for different things that we have planned. Um, that we started, I started using last year, but we also we also using the shell pull list, which is okay. also included. Uh, so, in okay. the uh, all right, good, good, good. Um, just to go over the other three smaller ones that the committee has in front of them. Mm -hmm. Um, the first is a new design for the fall festival signs. Um, in the past, we've been using these, these uh, older blue and white ones. Yep. Um, this is a news I think Marco Christine's been talking to you about these, and I think we've gotten them in the past. Um, so these right here? Yep. All right. And it's kind of doing a new design for what they look like that we put out throughout the town to advertise the event. Um, I think the team did a good job designing them. Um, is she putting these around? Well, we're going to have to get the signs made, and then Public Works puts them out with the rider, yeah. the dates, uh, and times of the event. So if you guys want, I can use my sign company I used in, in real estate. Uh they're from uh they're from out of state, but they're very reasonable. I'll get the quotes and you guys can approve them. Yep, I will make sure Christine forwards that stuff to you tomorrow and we get that moving that way to get that stuff and get them out. All right. For the event. Uh the other items were are I'll do an eighteen I'll get a quote for an eighteen by twenty four, mm -hmm. uh, which are standard directional signs. And uh and I uh, might have Christine talk to you about too, because we talked about last year, just an adage to the sign saying directional signs for parking. We talked about, you know, okay. that being something we wanted to improve from okay. last year. Okay. Getting people back to the parking area, things like that. Well, we you can know? get generic directional signs from uh, this print. Uh, I'll, well, I'll get those two. I'll get. Well, 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 I just want to, if we're doing one set of signs, see what else we can do and put a larger order together, usually. Um, all right, I'll contact the company tomorrow and get a quote and give it to you guys. Uh, what are we talking about? 50 maybe? I think before what we currently have is about 35. Um, but, you know, 50 is probably the right number because I'm sure we either misplaced or they've kind of some of them missing. So 50 signs and 50 riders. Yes. I think that's a good number. All right. Um, there's a event flyer for the fall festival that. I believe the committee scene has been out for a while. I just wanted to include that. Uh, and I also included the registration form just to give the committee an idea of what the premium sponsors are. And we move on and we talk about that later on um, where they're at. As we talked about last year, when it comes to the premier sponsors, the premium, we, you know, the okay. benefit of having committee members go out and talk to local businesses and things like that. And like I said, like we did last year, if the committee wants to list the businesses that receive letters or anything, we can we circulate that so everybody can know who's gotten one. And, um, yeah. I would definitely uh, PDF this to all the businesses if we have their email address right. and ask them to print it and post it. Uh, Christine's already been out and about asking local businesses to do that. She's on that face to face already on a couple of trips. So, you know, try to get it out there as much as we can. All right, well, we can do the same thing as we did for bingo. Everybody grabs, you know, 25, 50 flyers and knocks on doors. You get them out there. Um, it looks good. Uh, Jim, Chuck, just so you guys know, you probably know that it's a 300th anniversary at the same time. Yes. So they're combined two events. Um, During the day, it'll be the 
traditional fall festival, 10 to 3. And then at night, we're looking at, I think right now we're starting we're looking at starting parking at 7 o'clock for fireworks. Yeah. With uh, fireworks going off here, uh, 8.30 or dark. And 8.30 or when it's officially dark and they can be set off. Yeah, that's what uh, Christy was saying, like, list. Right. List, he list. came to 300 meeting. Oh, really? yeah. Okay, good, good. So I'm guessing the yellow is what we need to is complete. Is that correct, Mike? No, I can't. What's I think those are incomplete or not started. It says or complete or started, on the right. Or completed, yes, they're completed or assigned or they've been contacted. Okay, okay so. We're looking at this is the front page, right? Yeah. So what do we need to do uh, as a committee? So um as far as this stuff goes, um the main thing again is the raffle baskets. Which I saw her email to um, raffle baskets. Which I'm gonna I'm gonna work off mine because I I'm not as familiar with shelves. Okay. But, to go through a registration form that we made and circulated along with letters for uh, sponsorship vendors, car show, touch truck, and performances. As far as all those things go, sponsorships, we have currently have four uh, premier ones and we have a couple other smaller ones. Uh, Christine currently sits right now about 25 vendors for the event. So that's already way ahead of where we've been. Yep. Uh, car show, I think we have two or three signed up, but she, Christine has been doing a lot of legwork with Doyle's Town of Dust uh, and some of those events that promote other car shows. And there's been, she's been having them do a lot of cross promotion for others. Okay. But I, I will continue to say that I have in years past, most uh, of the time, some of these individuals that show up with these cars, it's not really going to have a great idea of what the turnout is going to be until we know what the weather is and day out. Because they, uh, with the fifteen dollar donation as part of it, um, they tend to not sign up uh, until they know they can come. Um, as far as touch truck, police are in public works. Obviously, um, we also have contact in North Wales, North Penn, Shalfont, and Britt again. EMS is in. The fire company is in. Um, we're trying to get the crane again for uh, from bomb bomb crane again to be there. I think that was uh, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, need to have that there with the crane all the way up. Um, and as far as performance go, we have uh, four performers booked. Um, if anybody would, I don't know that everybody anybody here was at the July Fourth Parade. A band called Springbrook was really interested in playing, so we've added them to play, you know, from about 11 to 12 in the morning. Um, and then we'll have our usual action karate performance, uh, Babylon School of Dance, um, and then School of Rock is confirmed to close out the event. The only other thing that may come up as we are dealing with it through uh, the tricentennial community side of things, is I know that members of the Trust Channel have been talking with the Lenape Indians, and there may be a potential for a drum circle or some kind of performance like that that we may uh, squeeze in in some capacity. Um, so, you know, not really sure where that is yet, but they, you know, I can give you an update a little bit, but they were thinking of possibly doing another encampment and doing the dance that way so they might not use the stage but they're going to get back to us he's trying to find out how many um indians natives whatever um are going to uh, be there the day of so he'll get back to us that would be the chief yeah um so as far as that goes you know i think like i said a lot of this stuff is ahead of time the one thing that occurred that i just wanted to mention uh, the police department is able to contact Luda's to get them to donate motorized 
So because they did that, we had to contact Kona Ice uh, and let we let them know about it and then gave them the choice whether they still wanted to attend or not, and they elected to not come. Um, because of that, uh, unfortunately, just miscommunication between staff, but not something we can avoid. But at the same time, I also think it's important for our police department to have something community driven like that. And if they want to give out free water rights, that they've been able to secure donations from the uh, readers for. Uh, I think that's also a positive. And, you know, we can always revisit Kona Ice uh, next year as, you know, this is the first year we're really dabbling in the food truck side of things. Uh, as far as that goes, I was able to secure Happy Snacks for the day of the event. That's, your, gonna, that's the guy you recommended? That, that's uh, someone that I know that does it. Um, they do hamburgers, hot dogs, curly fries, cheese, uh, funnel cakes, lemonade, um, Pretty much make sure we'll have most of the same stuff. We uh, so what we did all put on steroids. Yes. Okay. Um, talking hamburgers won't be as good, I'm sure, but uh, talk, talking with talking with them, uh, they they will most likely set up their tent in the area by the pavilion. I'm thinking in the parking lot in front of the uh, pavilion, sort yeah. of making a makeshift food court in front of that in the parking area. Um, to free up the uh, grass, but they'll set that stuff up the night before, which we'll already have the Boy Scout there to watch it. So I told him we'll have people there that can keep an eye on his setup the overnight. And so Perfect. we're all set to go with that. Um, Did Laurie get in touch with you about the food truck she had? No. Okay. I did not hear about that. Okay, so I think she might be going to Christine, but I'm not sure. She she had a food truck that um, um, related to her, I, think. I forget, but she wanted to see if they could come. And I didn't know what to say because I was, I was I mean, in the... She can let us know. At this, well, depending on what it is, we'll look at it. Is this is our first year doing it? I'm going to keep it simple as much as possible. See how it goes. This was a learning process. You know, I think there's always room to expand as we learn from what we're doing. Well, how many people do you think the uh, food service is going to feed? Because, I mean, if, if he can take care of thousands of people. he, I, I believe Happy Snacks, I've worked events for him in the past where he's had a 40, two 40 foot lines the entire day and just keeps working. Okay, so uh, uh, do I mean, we need anything else? I mean, I would like to see two trucks myself. I don't want to see a 40 foot line waiting for food. Well, I think um, it was a figure of speech. No, no, I, when I say a 40 foot line, I mean, they're at a fair that has dozens and dozens of other food vendors at and they have 40 Ooh, foot line. It means it's good food. So at least from my perspective, again, I just look at it as, I, I would rather be slow and steady and make sure whoever we're inviting is getting good business and we're presenting a good face as we grow this event, which I think is what this committee has done before me and and in the entire time I've been here, this event has really grown. Um, and I think we just need to remember that we're growing each year. We can always add. I mean, if he's the got food. the food and we got Rita's. I mean, um, we also have to remember we have Oro Guacamole was here last year. They did food. The Pinos did food. We have uh, a couple of other entities that are offering different types of style. Uh, I, think, I, think Boy Scouts. I think we're good. That we're dealing with. As far as, there, there'll be enough food at the event is all I'm saying. Yeah. You know, and. Well, I would, I would suggest just reach out to Flory tomorrow so she doesn't, you know, whatever. I would call, have Christine just reach out there and and discuss that. Yes. Hey Dale, how about um using the second truck that you were talking about? Or the second right person? on um could you split them up to like okay put that truck since the late cover in during the fireworks to see because because you guys said you were the way they said last weekend they were cleaning yeah. out everything That's and you could have I, the the tricentennial committee decided no food trucks. So what we're going for with the fireworks is a get people in, fireworks, get them out. 
Oh, okay. It's, it's, you know, the, by adding all these additional things, it increases the number of volunteers we need. Um, as of right now, we already need, we need at least 10 to help with parking. So if we start adding food trucks and other things that we need, trash and all this, we're now adding more and more people we need, you know, as, as Christine said at one meeting, you better show, you and 10 of your friends better show up if we keep adding to this event to help uh, do it, which, you know, I have Christine is uh, working on costs for all that stuff to kind of outline it based on what we're having already. Well, at least it seems like we're covered, so. But uh, on the sponsorships, are we asking one sponsor per event? So the way we did it last year and it tended to work was I we sent out the registration form with the request saying, if you pay this, you're sponsoring this, you get the junior sponsor items as well. You can have, give us a banner, we hang on the fence. Uh, when we got multiple requests for the event, if we still had openings or anything like that, Christina or I would take the responsibility of reaching out to that individual saying, hey, We've already received a donation for this. Would you like to modify what you're donating? My experience last year was they all just said, keep it. Okay. Uh, so, you know, we are, if they apply to for an event, we ask if they want to help sponsor a different one than they requested. Um, and, and offer if it's the other event is significantly more, would you be open to sharing sponsorship of that event? or item with someone else. Gotcha. So, all right, good. So for the main part. Um, well, it looks like it's pretty much on track. Yeah, it's, you know, as we go, I like I said, I think we're way ahead of where we were last year at this time. Um, I think we're we're doing pretty well with everything. Yeah, that works. Um, I know Christina reached out to some of you, Stephen, last year you did the Trophies and the things like that for the car show. So uh, Christine's reached out to you to do those things. Just as you get receipts for those things, please turn them into Christine or I, and we'll uh, take care of getting that stuff reimbursed. Usually our finance director cuts checks one every Friday. So if you outlay the costs and get us uh, the receipts by Wednesday, we can have a check sent to you by the end of the week to reimburse you for those costs. Do we have another meeting before the event? We do. Okay. Yeah. All right. We do have one more before the event. What were you doing with the awards? Were you doing participation awards or were you doing first place, second place? Second it's on place? here. I think we've got, because of a is issues we've had in the past with different things, we were just doing first, second, third. Yeah, right. Simple. A trophy and a Good gift part. card from AutoZone in town. Yeah. Okay. And then um, the request letter asks for, um, I send them a $150 check for the thing ahead of time and then ask, hey, last year you donated this car wash basket. Yeah. And I think we either use that as a raffle, raffle prize, prize yeah. or, we That's perfect. Lump, or we lumped it in with, you know, the person that comes in first place gets a car wash kit, okay. gift card, and some other stuff for their car. All right, so it looks like uh, the thing that we need to pay attention to is raffle baskets. I think that's the that is the key thing right now. We should for eight. You know, eight. I think is a good number. More if we can get more than that, great. But I think eight's definitely a number we want to hit. Um, and I I do know there are members of partner at Kathy Sexton's always good for one or two. Um. So I mean. I don't think that's something that's unattainable. Yep. All right. Uh, the items, like, uh, I'll, I'll talk to Christine, but like the hanging batter, that's that's uh, authorized. Yep. And that that of these, that's done. The 309 marquee, that's done. Yep. Emailed the flyer uh, to uh, John Ott and gave Christine the uh, information for the marquee, the, the point of contact for the marquee. So we should be good there. ATM was confirmed. That was in the last meeting. That's handled. Okay. 
if he does a lot, he'll give us a donation back. And then uh, what else is not completed? Uh, let's see. Event signs, I'll take care of that. Uh, ah, Mr. Pumpkin, Mr. Pumpkin again. Any questions from the VFW? Well, we were being a little more proactive this year. Okay, than it was last year, from the way I gather. But we're already trying to drum up volunteers and you know, have our. What I'm asking is, um, we're going to have a tent. Yes. Right. We need to provide the tent. We have one on premises. I just want that. I mean, if you have one on the premises, we can certainly have public works or whoever's here help set it up. But I know we provide you the tables, and I just don't remember whether it's been your tent or our tent. But I know you always had a tent. The last time I did it, Mike, it was our tent. Okay. Okay. We got our storage yeah. bed over here, and we. We just pulled it out. So, uh, and I know we we'll give you tables and chairs. Right. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. We can certainly help you set all that up. You know, if that's the case, the night before, I, or the night before, I'm like, you need public works over here and we'll get it loaded in a truck and have it be part of our setup. Okay. Um, like I said, we're going to have the Boy Scouts sleeping out. So, we might actually be able to do some of the like have the, the day of some of the setup we've done the day before the park has been blacked out from sporting events for the entire weekend um so i mean it's something we can discuss and make sure we have set up for all of you beforehand too okay so we've got a sign up sheet going out electronically to all the posts to get members you know make sure we're covered for the day full disclosure i'm going to be in kate today that week, that whole weekend, and the week before. Well, have fun. Well, so anyway, yeah. you know, otherwise you could count on me being here. We're also getting uh, some. <clears throat> we talked to some retirement homes, and we're asking them to bus their veterans to the fall festival. So, so the other thing is, I want to clear it with you is the new commander, Dave Densler. He's got a World War II Jeep, Jeep Collier, and he knows somebody that. Well, I think we're both in the parade. World War One staff car. Yeah, we're going to try and bring them here. I know Dave can bring that just to attract people. Yeah, you so can is flank that those. We had it last year, right next to. The, I would yeah. flank them off your tent. Yeah, cool. I saw them at the parade. Are you? We can certainly make sure that you're able to get them in there. Okay. Are you planning on having any type of like um, um, display of benefits or like any information, perhaps, about, or about for the news? Yeah, or the new yeah. veterans coming out, yeah, you know, if they're, if they're there, yeah. No, in the past, you've done your poppies, right? The poppies, yeah. which is like a side thing, so but five, it's more five, a matter of informing anybody that comes up about you know how they can get help for veterans, and maybe join the post or whatever. But yeah, we'll have stuff there. Did you talk to Dan McPhillips? Yeah. Dan McPhillips, um, who is the Bucks County fraud alert guy, and he's also the veterans affair guy. Um, I have a cell and he was saying, give him a call. He will come out um, and he'll help you as well. So before we leave, I'll give you his contact and you can reach out to him. And he'll also, he, I met him down at the uh, Warminster VFW. He had the, uh, he was doing an event for you guys to get your past records of your, any uh, military records you wanted. He's the one that recorder of deeds. He does all that. Oh, so okay. it's pretty, he's a good contact for you. So I'll, I'll hook you up with him and then you can see if Dan wants to come and uh, spend any time here on Saturday. Okay. So the only other question I had, what do you need from us, if anything, other than what we just talked about? Yeah, the presence would be great. That's, this is for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll is, be here. Uh, right here. It's a good presence and, uh, okay. you know, some military vehicles. Like I said, if, you guys can get more. I mean, yeah, anything. We're looking to get at least two, maybe something else. And then explanation of benefits, pamphlets, maybe, yeah. or how to join a VFW. Do you sure. qualify to be in a VFW? You know, right. things of that nature. No, we'll have sure. it. I think we're all set. Anything else about the fall festival? No, I would say I think everything is ahead of schedule. And um, Christine and I always just pay attention to your emails and we come up with something you know okay. that we think is a, a good fit for someone in the committee to help with 
Yeah, absolutely. Kind of just kind of take it off our plate. Like I said, anything that might be financial or whatever, as soon as you have a receipt, get it to us. We'll make sure you get it. You know, I don't want want anybody to be out money. Does the township have that. a credit card? If, if a vendor is required credit card payment? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, and if it's for the signs or whatever, Mark, I'll just let Christina and I know, and we can make sure we get them. All right. Maybe. And I'll get the quote in. All right. Uh, Veterans Day. It's so approaching. I was just calling, putting this on there to follow up. I talked to George Yule last week. I didn't realize we were in the midst of a uh, command changeover okay. occurring. Right. Um, but I never got to saw George Crespin last week, but I talked to him. Last year, you all went to Doylestown. If that's what you're doing again, that's fine. I just want to know for the purposes of we have done a Veterans Day event with the oh. VFW in the past. If either way, we're fine supporting it either way. I just want to know ahead of time. That way, if you're going to Doylestown, we can make sure we're promoting that event where you're, where our veterans well, are going. Doylestown, that's one of the things I was talking about, things falling through the cracks. I mean, you called me and asked, did we do something? You know, did you do something wrong? It was just a matter of lack of communication. You know, laid on George. They didn't really build things up. But yes, to answer your question, we want to do Veterans Day the way we used to do it. At Veterans Park or here, whatever. Yeah, we used to alternate. Yeah. So whatever. Yeah. But yeah, well, good. that was just a, a fallback position that, you know, we were standing there. Yeah, so we wanted to do something, and we knew Doyle's town had something. So rather than try to rush things here in this okay. township, we just filled in with them. That, that, that's right. the only reason we went there, and that's fine. I just last year I was planning on doing everything, and then it became uh, yeah. 11, 11, 11, 11. We're going to Doyle's town. Okay, well we can't really hold an event without the VFW post because yeah. Uh, as I read through my pamphlet, you're the color guard, you're the keynote speaker, you're the, you know. Without the VFW, we we'll be there. Oh, we we def definitely want to host it. We'll be there this year. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. We need to decide uh, do we want to do it here or do we want to do it at Veterans Park? Um, I don't know. Have you guys done, you normally have your awards for police officers fire. Have you done that yet this year? Sure. We have, but I don't know that we've got anybody lined up yet. I mean, we're asking, yeah. So I don't, they're not going to be there. If that's what you're asking. Um, that's why I'm asking just yeah. what, like I'm trying to anticipate space what might be easiest to do um i'll talk to public works and we can i'll, I'll get back to you with a location yeah the only thing with veterans park they're putting that um if that's my only that sewer plant in the with, back with the work they're doing I, out I, there. I, i'm not making it sound good it's, no i putting I a, a real pumping underground you're... pumping station yeah. there so it's a little messy right now so, all right that's the only thing i want to check on that's Talk with Ryan, but might this year might be best to do it here. Yeah, we'll start back here, and then next year we'll do a veterans park. Yeah, we're flexible. Year, we can be, we can do it in either location. I'm just thinking, you know, the veterans committee put that park out there. It'd be nice to you know yep. recognize yeah, yeah, yeah. that that's the only reason we, we want to do it there. But like Mark is saying, if it's a little iffy as far as the grounds are concerned, we can do it here yeah. just as easily. We just have to let everybody know where to show up. Yeah, because that's um, been a confusing in the good. post. Good. I can have an email out tomorrow with location. Like I said, I'm going to talk to Ryan and Bill May and just confirm. But I'm pretty sure, with, like Mark said, with them having that sewer project going on out there and it's on the roads and different areas, okay. it might make more sense to just do it here this year. And what what day of the week is it? I think it's a Saturday. Do we? And you guys can let us know if you have a bugler. Veterans Day. Any Saturday. awards that you need to give away, anything like that that you would want to recognize anybody, just tell the township so they can. I'll attach the last. Do you still have my email? Yep. I'll, I'll make sure I attach. Uh, and I go, Christine has Dave's email too, so I'll make sure it goes to yeah. both of you. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'd CC the whole committee. I yes. guess we're always informed. I like that. So yeah, that was the only other the thing that, with that. So that's good. That's giving us some direction. Uh, the wildflower seeds. I believe that conversation last week was about that meadow 
in yeah it's in it's that. uh this year i don't know why it just didn't take and and uh we just never did it correctly because the goal of the middle of veterans park was have nice flowers all year round you know yeah. to kind of have the ease of walking in the park and sitting on the bench and looking at flowers and stuff um so i did some research on the seed and the fall is the perfect time to plant seed yeah so yeah, it's usually fall or if we can get spring. like a, a i don't know 60 pound bag of wildflower seeds from somewhere and after it rains just spread them in the meadow yeah or it might be beneficial if it's not you don't think it's working right way that they till it cut it till it replant it and let's see well obviously we, yeah if, if you want to go to that extent but, i'll talk uh, to i'll talk to bill may We'll, we'll at least go through with getting some wildflowers. Because my limited agricultural now. research, it says that wild seed, for some reason, takes takes multiple years. Well, it takes root right away. It's 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 more durable. It doesn't have to be like you know fertilized and all that stuff. I mean, whatever they used on the on the two or two bypass is working great. You got beautiful flowers there. No, oh, I will. Talk with Bill May this week, and you know. And then the other thing I was thinking by Veterans Park sign, if we could, uh, does poppies grow here in Pennsylvania? No, they don't, right? No, yeah, okay. Everything we have yeah. is artificial, yes. <laughs> well, these are the only grow. One we, place we order. In Europe is... You mean they're not real? <laughs> they, they, I know they grow in France, <laughs> yeah, that's the there's Normandy place. uh cemetery there, right. that's all over the place. I think they're in England, the only two places, oh, yeah, all right. So if we can do that, maybe before, I know they cut they cut the grass down. Like I don't know when they cut it down. Talk to Bill May. Yeah, I, I got a note. I'll talk to Bill. Um, All right, good. That's that. Uh, Bingo was it following up. Was his name? Oh, following up with Demarcus, you were talking about reaching out. Yeah, to so I reached out to Bishop uh, Vineyards. Um, unfortunately, they could do Monday through Thursday six. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, six to nine, which is short on time. They cannot do Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. They want us to guarantee one thousand dollars worth of wine to be purchased. In other words, uh, I said, "Well, how are they going to know what's one thousand up front if they if they if the bill is more than a thousand dollars and they give that money back, the deposit money's back?" Uh, well, um, I would arrange it with them that if we didn't hit a thousand dollars, that would be our fee. Whatever's left would be our. I have not. Again, I have trepidation about paying for. Yeah, alcohol but right now they can't. They Friday. cannot accommodate Friday, Saturday, or Sundays. Yeah, and I think that would be hard. We can't do bingos during the week. Yeah. Be and the shrine you just didn't check or oh the shrine's no, good it was just, we were just thinking maybe the shrine, changing yeah. the venue i had the 24th um somebody mentioned that before oh, uh, did, did we have yeah april oh i wrote april of 24 sorry yeah, it's usually That's why the I <laughs> we, we were just thinking of changing the venue maybe to make it a bit more fun but it doesn't seem like uh that would work for us no but um they're they're filling up pretty quick, so um, you might want to call the shrine and lock a date down. You can always release it. Yeah. Because they're, I think they're almost out of weeks. So, okay. That was just a follow-up for that. I mean, unless somebody has another recommendation where we could have it. Um, and did you want me to do it, or are you going to do it? What's that? Call the shrine. Or Oh, Christine's gonna set it up. Well, Christine, if Christine. we have a contact, we can yeah reach out. Okay. That'll be easy enough to do. Yep. If she had, if Christine hasn't already done so, most likely she did already. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's that. Uh, other business. I have no other business. Anybody have other business? All right. I'll announce something. We're gonna soon have tiles for sale for the 300th anniversary. Cool. Uh, working on getting that stuff. Uh, together and put on the website to advertise. Um, they look really nice. And what we oh, the committee came up with is we're also going to do them limited editions. Are they Mer homes. Mercer times? Uh, a company like Mercer. Not, not Mercer. A knockoff. Like Mercer. They're 
they're about yay big for science, but um, I'm digging. they're only going to be right now. The plan is only to do 300 of them. Uh, make so a limited edition. Make a limited edition. So we also have shirts made for the event. They're here. We have. There's cups out there. You can grab. How many six? How many six hundred cups we have? I don't know. A lot of we're, cups. We put them in the closed office and out front where have people take them. That's gifts when they come in. Here's yeah. a permit. Have your have a cup. Because <laughs> I don't want to have them. Well, the three hundred birthday is done. Want to go on? I don't want to have stuff sitting here. Um, I do have something that I was mentioning before. Um, I would like to uh, give the 300 committee members an award, and I'd also like to give them a plaque. Also, I think that would be tasteful. But I don't know who who I bring that up to you, you or or the committee. I'm not sure. It can't be the other committee. So how would how would that happen? I they're um, they're really busting their butt with this, you know, with all the uh, we're meeting Friday at Bob Showalter's to get all the stuff for inside the tent um, memorabilia, um, different things that people will really enjoy. Well, I think I think after that, I think that should be brought back for the fall festival, um, and so it would be up to the supervisors if that's something they want to recognize. I know it was brought up, but Christine mentioned it. Mentioned this to me. I will drop an Easter egg to the board and yeah. let that idea idea percolate. Yep. Yes, uh, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. You know, especially you know, like you did a lot with that Fourth of July parade. Well, we gotta get you a filing system, big Dale. <laughs> And after all that, I can't find the damn tile anyway. All right, well, good. That's a good idea. Limited tile, limited edition tile. That's cool. What are we going to sell you for? 40 bucks. Do you look like this? No. No, I can I can pull up a picture afterwards and show you if you want to see it. Uh, yeah, they look just like the picture that I have somewhere in my hand, but I can't find it. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Any other business? No, everybody's good. I got a point of clarification. Since Veterans Day, we're talking about that. It falls on the eleventh, which is a Saturday. Is that doable for the township? Yes, we would host it on that Saturday. Okay. The reason I'm asking is we've already committed the CB South to be there for ceremonies, but that's early. It's eight o'clock in the morning. We could still manage to get here. You know, if it was Friday, that we were working, on. but. Well, no, I think I think in the past, other than maybe once it fell on a Sunday, uh, would be the only day I think we would adjust it for. Okay. Um, but usually it's 11, 11, 11. Right. Right. That's what it should be. But now we don't have a conflict there. We can do that. And yeah. CB South does it purposely on the day before. So we're not. No, we'll be there at 11. Yeah. All right. It will be on Saturday. Like I said, I'll. Clarify by tomorrow the location, and I'll make sure I get out. Uh, whichever the last event we held, the program for it and everything. Um, you know, as you pick a speaker, we've been able to do different things like insert with a bio about the speaker, maybe their credential. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. What they've been through uh, that kind of stuff. We're gonna need a speaker so we could put the schedule together. Do, can we email them a, a no old, old schedule? Yeah, that's what so you can uh, like just fill it in. That's what I mean. The old programs yeah, that yeah. we have with the what, what went on at the event. I'll make sure when I give them the date that that's included in that. What's that? I'll give you um, our business card, our newest one. Yeah, it's <laughs> there will change that probably. Did you have one, Mike? Or uh, I do not. I will take one from you by the end to make sure I have your information. I got all Jim's information. So we'll just add those guys to our mailing list. Yeah. All right. Good meeting. Good meeting. Good meeting. Uh, with that said, uh, motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? 
All right. All opposed, meeting adjourned. Thank you.